Welcome back to News Channel 3 Live at 9. We're outside on this beautiful Friday, but because, of course, we have just sent off meteorologist yep, Jim yeah. Jaggers on his Go Jim Go 333-mile bike ride. You'll be hearing a lot about that. It raises money for Le Bonheur Children's Medical Center. Now, first, we've got somebody very special to talk with. He's spending some time with us here in Memphis. You know him as Sheriff Troy and Dr. <laughs> Will, actor Lamont Rucker, recently turned up the charm in the Tyler Perry movies. Why did I get married? And this year, of course, Meet the Browns. That's it. He's also starred in television shows that are like half and half. And, of course, shows that you've seen right here on CBS as the world turns. Now, Lamon is starring in the movie being shot right here in Memphis, star co-starring people like Essence Atkins, Elise Neal, and Sorry, many, Tempest many others. Tempest Bledsoe. That's it. The big, big deal. Welcome to Memphis. Lamont, Thank you good very to much, see you Memphis. this morning. Thanks for having me. Might I say I'm a little bit speechless because, um, you know, you're pretty gorgeous in <laughs> films, but in person, standing right next to me. Do you see me, what um, you're doing to her? <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. Thank uh, you very oh, much. oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lamont, you're uh, really uh, making a day. You know, I may be speechless for the rest of the segment. That didn't happen that very often. That would be often. first. How has life been in Memphis for you so far? What's it's, this experience like? It's been great. It's been a great experience. You guys have a wonderful city, wonderful hospitality. Uh, and, and, you know, sometimes you forget until you actually set foot in a particular city just how rich it is how warm you know the people are the culture the history here is you know uh, again you, you when you're separated from it you forget how much has actually happened here so I don't even think a lot of people that live here are always as well aware you know as, as they should be of, of the kind of gem that Memphis Tennessee is you have been quoted as saying that this this particular project is really important in terms of moving the country forward and by that I mean it is a story that could feature all white actors, Hispanic actors. There's no color here. It's just a story. Right. And is that important in this day and age? It's very important. I mean, you can't escape, you know, the uh, the color issue in this country. It's absolutely inescapable, unfortunately. Right. right. Well, this will help it, exactly. won't it? Exactly. But at the same time, there are definitely ways that we need to find what that kind of common ground is just as human beings mm -hmm. and uh, there are stories that are going to be universal there are issues that are universal there are emotions and and levels of uh, intellectualism and spirituality that are absolutely universal so one of the things that people are trying to take more initiative with is just writing good stories right and it doesn't matter who you plug in mm -hmm. you know so that's what I believe in secure is and 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 has the uh, the advantage of is you could see anybody and if people come to see it they don't need to consider this as a black film exactly you know it's right. a good movie with some talented people it just so happens you know that ethnically the majority of the actors are of African American we got you isn't it there. sad that, that we still great, need to but but we yeah. need to make that a big deal but it is but so yeah, true it's people, so that's how people compartmentalize that's mm -hmm. how things are marketed it's mm -hmm. like no we're not going to market it to these people we're just going to market it to these people mm -hmm. and sometimes we uh you know lose the advantage of actually being able to experience something very valuable strictly because we consider it not you know not relevant to us That's also right. if you would talk to us about your character in insecure who is he? my character's name is Isaac Isaac Roberts uh, I'm in a relationship with Tempest Bledsoe's character Jill that lucky be girl uh, yeah <laughs> yeah well lucky for me too exactly. uh, That's true. and uh, so anyway we run into a situation within uh, within our relationship. Now, is this a situation Lamont brought on by you or brought on by Tempest? <laughs> it's break always, it down. Guys, give it, it's always it our down. fault. Right? I'm so glad you uh, recognized that, Lamont. I'm trying Lamont. not to give too much away. Exactly. Um, but basically, Isaac makes a, uh, a poor, impulsive decision, uh -oh. and it, um, it puts his relationship in a, in a situation where there's an impasse, and then he also creates um, a conflict within uh, David and Robin's relationship, who was Cordell Moore right. and Essence Atkins. So it kind of ruins both relationships, really. Did your and mama thereafter, not teach you better? Hey, that's why it's, that's Isaac. <laughs> Lamont didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a character. That's right. It's that's only right. a character. I can always blame it on Isaac. Talk to us about moving Hollywood away from Los Angeles, so to speak, and using other cities such as Memphis, Tennessee, cities like uh, Atlanta here in the really? South, Southeast. Is that important to you as it's, well? It's very important. And not even important to me personally as much as I think it's it's important to these other places and right. these other markets mm -hmm. um, the the again the truth of the matter is that's always been done everything has isn't always done or shot on a studio lot mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time in Pittsburgh Pittsburgh during the time I was in college and even especially even prior to that in the early 90s prior um, tons of movies were being shot there it was a very kind of popular movie set town for quite a while so 
sometimes that moves around. They find a nice little hot spot and mm -hmm. then they decide to shift elsewhere. I think Memphis has that same potential. And um, this movie is, I think, demonstrating that there's that kind of potential. That's very important Extremely. to get out of Hollywood, mm -hmm. out of New York City, right. you know, and get in some of these other wonderful environments where you've got great architecture, again, all this history and culture that exists here. And you can integrate that stuff directly in the film, like realistically, as opposed to trying to recreate it yeah. on a Hollywood movie lot. It's Does not the same thing. We're playing the blues and everything in this mm. movie. You know, and it's you real. See me getting down. You are on the feeling base. this, man. Yeah. You are really oh, feeling yeah. bad here. Is that here. something you've it's, done before, or did you have to thing. learn this? You know what? I had to learn a little bit more. I'm actually trying learning how to play the bass anyway. Mm -hmm. So it was it was perfect. So you know, we get to pluck around a little bit. I'm playing with Lattimore and Theotis Ely. I mean, awesome. you can't beat that. Awesome. Yeah, we <laughs> well, we're blessed to have you here. Very blessed. We're, we're very and you also blessed. seem kind of pumped about our weather guy, J uh, Jim Jaggers, kicking off this very morning uh, about what he's doing for La Bonner Children's Very family. much so. Very much so. I definitely applaud him. I think I think that's a very creative way to bring attention to that cause. Right. It's a way to also cr uh, promote, again, even the, the physical, physical activity, you know, uh -huh, of it all. Uh -huh. And even just to get everybody out and about and, and behind him and supporting him. I understand this is something he does annually. Uh, I have a god brother back in Pittsburgh who's actually um, in the process of uh, planning something similar to raise, you know, to raise money for for AIDS and HIV awareness in, uh, in the greater Pittsburgh community and, and throughout, in particular, the African-American community. It community. takes a village, yeah. and we all have Absolutely. a stake in each other's so, uh, lives. This is a wonderful idea, and there's a lot of other creative ideas. And, and that's, again, the thing about Insecure. It's a, it was a nice kind of creative way to come here, base it here, and to go about telling a story that there's some forensics and some all kind of little th you know thrilling stuff going on in it. And that's 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 the beauty of it. You got us pumped to see this, man. Find something to do, and find something you believe in, find a creative way to do it. Come on. Love it. And you will Appreciate see it, them shooting and hey, secure around, around town. Thank you. So, you know, ladies don't get crazy. You're going okay? to you're gonna be okay? I, I believe I'm going to go have some coffee. Go ahead. Yeah, Starbucks is up, you know. You Go ahead and get your show. hug over there. LeMond, take care of her. Right. Make her happy. Yeah, You've you made are. our day. All we appreciate right. you stopping by. Thanks, LeMond, very right. much. Right. See you later. Good, good luck on the Rucker, filming. And we are just told. Insecure. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm definitely going to see that movie. Yeah. That man is fine. Okay.